Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's a matter of great honor to speak very briefly about the Usha Lakshmi Foundation. The foundation uh, started in the year 2007. In the, the Usha Lakshmi, in the name of uh, the foundation, is uh, actually Dr. Raghuram's mother, who herself is a very accomplished medical professional, a doctor. But uh, she was detected with breast cancer. And uh, Dr. Raghuram, who was uh, working in UK at that time, Dr. Raghuram has studied in England. In fact, he is one of the very few Indians who has got uh, fellowships of all the four royal colleges in England and uh, Scotland and Wales. He decided to come back and uh, not only stand by his mother, but also ensure that the other uh, people who, who face this problem of uh, breast cancer, something significant is done for them. So, what we have done in the foundation is, is to train an army of volunteers, mostly health workers, who go from village to village, who go to all the working class neighborhoods, who go to all the poor neighborhoods and train the women in how do they do clinic, this kind of a self-examination by themselves. Hospitals. In fact, Dr. Raghuram has built the first uh, purpose-built uh, breast cancer unit in Hyderabad, the first of its kind in our country, so to say. And this entire uh, range of activities, right from the first level of self-examination to the second level of scientific mammography to surgeries, etc., we offer it completely free of cost. And uh, in the last uh, 10 years or so, the outreach of uh, this uh, uh, campaign has been phenomenal. Not only the entire state of Telangana has been saturated by this effort, the neighboring state of Andhra Pradesh also has, has been covered uh, to, a significant, uh, to a significant extent. And uh, because of the great work which uh, Dr. Raghuram has been done, he has been awarded the Padma Shri uh, a year ago. And uh, he is on the part of the National Advisory Group, which is now propagating this kind of a mass uh, clinical uh, uh, community health programs not just for breast cancer, but for a variety of other uh, health issues as well. of cancer is much lower in India, but the deaths are much higher because people go late into the, to the doctors, you know. And uh, another view is, a lot of people think that cancer is a genetic disease. Actually, research has shown that only about 10% of the uh, cancers are genetically related. I mean, that is a prime he is an extraordinary and uh, an exceptional gentleman I have seen. You know, in the cancer, there is a lot of scope for his patients. I think they adore him, they love him. And that is because of the empathy and sympathy he has uh, towards those people. I have collaboration with Breast Cancer Care UK, which is the largest breast cancer charity in England. We have published 100,000 booklets on every aspect of breast health over the past 10 years in English and Telugu which have been distributed across the length and breadth of Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. And as you will see, I was conferred the Padma Award in 2015. In July of 2015, our Prime Minister launched the Digital India campaign. And I felt duty bound to take forward this information booklets through the medium of digital media across the country and so I started working silently since July 2015 over the last nearly two years to produce every information conceivable about every aspect of breast health whether it's benign problems or breast cancer issues in simple easy to understand format in 12 languages which includes English, Hindi, Telugu, Kannada, Malayalam, Tamil, Gujarati, Punjabi, Bengali, Marathi, Oriya and Assamese. And we have here amidst us the gentleman who has helped us, Mr. Mahadevan, who is the manager. Firstly, benign breast health issues, non-cancer issues, which are very badly managed in our country. Every aspect is dealt. Breast cancer, every aspect of breast cancer that someone needs to know who is taking treatment. Myths and facts presented in a very informative format. In fact, anyone who downloads the app will be presented with five myths and facts every single day. And then Pink Connection, which is South Asia's first breast health newsletter, is also on that app. And two breast cancer awareness films, one you have already seen, the other film which is even used by the government of India, our film produced by the foundation to create awareness for healthcare workers, is also part of this app. So this is the... I went with the lamp on one side and uh, 
I was diagnosed with the lump on the other side too. So it was a bilateral cancer for me. It was again a shock, but he explained everything in detail. Apart from that, I had a lot of questions about my infertility, fertility, what will be my, uh, what will I do after that? How will me, I have a child and all that? And he explained to me that it is quite easy and there are things which we can do like uh, fertility uh, care. Why? आज चिकित्सा के क्षेत्र में इतनी उन्नति हुई है कि अब इससे डरने की कोई जरूरत नहीं अब ये दूसरी सभी बीमारियों की तरह पूरी तरह से ठीक हो सकता है ऐसे होनहार डॉक्टरों के साथ का साथ हो तो हम सब इस बीमारी का डट कर मुकाबला कर सकते हैं और बिल्कुल सामान्य जिंदगी जी सकते हैं मैं भी इस दौर से गुजर चुकी हूँ इसलिए मैं यही कहूँगी कि ये कोई ऐसा रोग नहीं है जिसका नाम लेते ही मौत सामने खड़ी नजर आए बल्कि अगर इसका डट कर मुकाबला किया जाए तो न केवल इससे परे हटाकर बल्कि मौत को हराकर खुशहाल जिंदगी जिया जा सकता है कैंसर आपको जकड़े इससे पहले आप इसे पकड़ें यह कथन तभी तो आप सब भी ठीक हो सकते हैं मैं सब के लिए एक संदेश देना चाहती हूं कि बहनों कैंसर को तुम्हें हराना है कैंसर को तुम्हें हराना है विपरीत हवा का झोंका है इसलिए पसीना बहाना है कैंसर को तुम्हें हराना है